first and foremost, apologies if you can hear my computer over here breathing super hard. I'm doing rendering right now for a project, so my bad on that. But today in this video, we're gonna briefly be talking about color grading and my current color grading process. I've done tons of videos on color grading where I've been color grading in the Lumetri color. I've been using Adobe Lightroom. I've used pretty much anything that there is to color grade. But currently at this moment right now, I'm gonna go over a program that was sent to me a few months ago that I just recently got into and I feel that this color grading experience is beyond the best of any of the other color grading programs and processes that I've used personally. This video really all spawned last night when I posted a tweet and I was going over the color grading process for this music video that I most recently shot. And in this tweet, you can see a list of images which correspond to my color grading process on this particular video. So looking at these images, you can see a simple log image, which is straight out of the camera. This is me filming it on log on set when I shot it. And the second image you can see are just simple tone adjustments that I've added to the video, contrast, saturation, shadows, highlights, and you know, just up in the saturation a little bit. This is no other color adjustments to it. And you can see in this second image that the skin tones of this female just look super yucky. And this is straight out of camera. This is straight on the GH5. And you run into yucky colors and skin tones, typically on Panasonic and Sony cameras, not so much with Canon. And that was really the moral of that tweet. But it really spawned and I thought maybe I should just go over this process with you all and show you all how I've been color grading my stuff since this has happened to me. So the program that I've been using is 3D Luck Creator. They sent me a copy of this over. This is not a sponsored video. I haven't been paid to say anything about this. Um, this really all is just from my own personal experience and the benefits and the amazing colors that I have been able to produce with this, which you'll see in a second in the program. So literally this program is kind of sort of like the Lightroom process where you take an image and you grade over an image, but it's super simple. So what I like to do uh, to start this process is just to find a screen grab, a frame, an image, a picture from the video and just do tonal adjustments to that. Now this is just the shadow adjustments, the exposure, the contrast, the saturation, all those little things like that. Don't do any changing of any colors. Just get it to a tonal space where you really like it. So after you do that, you can use the export frame option in Premiere, or you can just screenshot it. I'm just gonna screenshot it for the sake of this video. After you've gone through and done that, you're just gonna import that image into 3D Light Creator. Inside of 3D Light Creator, it looks kind of crazy. It's just this big, huge web looking image with uh, different colors on it. And it just represents the different hue adjustments to your image that you're gonna be editing. So you import the image, you open it. And the first thing that we're gonna do is hover over the photo of the female. And you can see we can get a real time look at the specific tone of that color that is on our skin tone because that's what I wanna change. That's what we are gonna be wanting to change in these things to make sure our skin tones are right. So you hover over and you can see real time what the color of our skin is. Then you can in turn change that. So I can see that our skin is a little bit on the orange or yellowish side. So I'm just gonna grab this color right here where the yellow is and just drag it a little bit to the orange side just to make her look a little bit more natural. And there's a bunch of other things that we can do here if we wanted to adjust a different color like blue to purple if we wanted to. We can do all that as well. We're just gonna do the skin tones for the sake of this video. After that, I think our skin tone looks pretty natural, looks pretty well. I'm just gonna go in and adjust the neutral. So. With neutral adjustments, I feel like this is something that you can't really do in a lot of other things. Now neutrals, is just that weird color space between not white, but not any other color either. So it's like the grays and like those tones that aren't really any of the other colors that are around a typical hue, circle, curve, whatever you call those things. My bad, I'm not the most technical person in the world, but you get what I'm saying. So I like to adjust the neutral. So in order for us to get a really good, nice teal and orange adjustment, we just grab this little point in the middle of this, drag it towards that teal, and you can see that it's really adjusting the neutrals. It's not really adjusting anything else. It's not really adjusting any of the other colors. We just grab that and we just adjust the neutrals. So if we drag that down to a teal tone, you can see it looks really well. The only problem here is you can clearly see us adjusting our white tones as well. So the only thing that we have to do is hover up, click this little button right here, and it'll take off the white tone adjustment. So you can see it's really easy to adjust the neutrals. And if we wanna go back and add a little bit more teal to those tones, we can do that as well. So after we get that to a space that we like it, we just go up, export the LUT, then we'll find ourselves back at Premiere 
we'll add the LUT onto the footage and it's just as simple as that. Really quick before we go over the other features of 3D LUT Creator, I want to give a really quick shout out to the sponsors of this episode, the people over at Squarespace. If you have no clue who Squarespace is, it's the all-in-one platform for pretty much everything relative to websites. You can purchase domains here, you can use themes. It's just a really good space to be if you're trying to do anything relative to a website. Squarespace has tons of designer themes and everything's all in one, so it's no need for you to update or do any of the ugly backend stuff that requires coding. It's just a really easy place to do a website if you're trying to do it. And it takes the headache out of guessing and doing the back end negative stuff that is typically done with websites. On top of that, Squarespace has amazing 24 seven customer support. So if you ever find yourself in a jam where you don't know what you're doing or you've done something wrong to your website, you can literally just go to the chat, hit them up, they'll hit you right back 24 seven. It's just amazing, it's super simple and it's super easy to do. So if you are interested in bettering your online presence with a website, head over to squarespace.com right now to start your free trial. And you can also head over to squarespace.com forward slash YC Imaging for 10% off your first purchase. Let's get back into 3D Light Creator though. So aside from 3D Light Creator being a really awesome color grading tool that I've been using, it has tons of other features as well. Like you can literally load in a reference image and do instantaneous color grade copying. So if you see an image or a screen grab from a video that you love and you really don't know how to implement those colors into your own footage, you can literally just screenshot it, import it in the 3D Light like Creator and add those colors straight to your image. It's super simple and it's just a very intuitive and easy way to do it. Aside from that, there's a lot of other professional color grading tools and things that you can do in there that I don't really necessarily know how to do. I'm not a professional colorist at all. I just get the colors to where I like them and this makes this process a lot easier for me to do than in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is how I've been color grading my footage lately and this is probably how I'll continue to color grade my footage. So if you're interested in checking it out, it's a link in the description and you can start a free trial and see if it's right for you. I mean, you can get really good color grades from Premiere and Lightroom and all those other programs that I've showed you. I'll also leave a link in the description to my playlist where I do color grading videos. I have tons of tutorials on that. So yeah, man, check it out if you're interested. I just wanted to give you all an insight on how I've been doing it because people have been asking me and that tweet really just spawned an idea to show you all how I've been doing it. So if you enjoyed this, make sure to drop me a like, comment, also subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Peace out, guys.